And what I thought I'd do today is kind of go through the bag a little bit, wedge maybe up and flip through a driver a little bit, just to kind of see the swing from how the club length changes and see how the swing, single plane swing doesn't really change. It just looks like it gets flatter and then steeper because of the club. But I'll kind of go through the bag so you can kind of see it. Love to feel, I love to feel forward and that way at a dress. Uh, full range. I like to feel full range at a dress. Full range. Keeps me nice and wide. Full range at a dress is, so like I'm tilted, but I, I can't go any further than that. And it keeps the arm super full range, super wide. Range wide. So we are full range square wide. Three woods. Same thing. And look, if you're interested in the single plane swing and learning about how to do it correctly, and that's what's important about learning it is starting in the right place and learning it in the proper order, not just jumping in and trying to try it yourself. I have a free academy called Single Plane Academy. 
at www.singleplaneacademy.com. Inside the academy, you're going to find instruction, information about the single plane swing, and it's all for free. So look, if you're interested in learning more about the single plane swing and the easiest way to play golf, our mission is to help you simplify the game, every aspect of the game, and play better golf. So join me at singleplaneacademy.com. I'll put the link in the description of this video, and I'll see you inside. iron. I think one of the things that I like to feel in the swing is what I call, I like guys call it width, but it's just, it's just room. Um, so when I set up, I'm feeling room in the swing, like width, wide, or room, not, not narrow or trapped. That's why you see you know, it's pretty shallow, not a lot of huge divots here. So it, it starts here, I get room here, back swing room all the way. Yeah. Starts at a dress, I feel like why the club slightly towards the heel of the golf club right here. I don't want to be too close. It's nice and wide, and I feel wide the whole motion. Seven iron here. You're seeing too as it progressively, so the club gets shorter. You need more lean in the shaft as the club gets shorter. 
well, how am I, if I'm keeping the ball in the same spot, how am I getting more and more shaft lean and impact? It's because my stance is progressively getting narrow, which puts me more in front without being more in front. It, it puts my body position more on the left side where the ball stays in the same spot. So seven iron, you're seeing me a little more narrow and then I can have a little more lean in the shaft at impact. Keeping the ball in the same spot. So again, iron ball position, not quite as wide. And now you start seeing, it looks like almost center, right? Because I'm getting more narrow with, with the shorter clubs. But it gives me more lean in the shaft at impact. And, you know, if you wanted to add trajectory to it, it's pretty simple because I would just go slightly wider, maybe to a six iron. Now look, it's gonna hit, it's gonna add effect with loft. So stance width affects effect with loft, how much the hands are forward, how much the hands are back, stance width. So when it's lower, go more narrow. Hit iron again. Hit that great. But now you see a pretty narrow stance, pitching wedge. Hands are already way, way feeling in front. <laughs> 